Hello and welcome back. So this is part 21 of my Making of Eshemane cosplay from World of Warcraft. So this series is almost complete. And this one I'm gonna be making the leg cuffs, the armor. Um, I am starting out with a long rectangle of six millimeter foam. Here I'm just going ahead and cutting out both of them since they're just identical little leg cuff things. And I'm also going to use these square dowels. I believe these are the 10 millimeter dowels, I believe. I'll have these linked below. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm just using contact cement to glue my six millimeter foam pieces into a rounded shape. And then I am going to glue my, what, oh, sorry, square foam dowels on as well. I'm going ahead and cutting them to shape here, or right, the right length. And same thing, I'm using contact cement. I use a sharpie to trace out where it goes exactly to help me get the contact cement in the right place so I don't get all over the place so I don't need it. Not that it would really matter. And then again, just on one side of the square dowel, I paint this around. You can always just use like any EVA foam for this part, but I am doing the dowels just to save me time because then I don't have to go and make them myself. I can just have these dowels here. And these are going to go on the top edge and the bottom edge. Overall, these are really simple to make. Um, the only like, difficult part will be the design part that you'll see later in the video. And here I just have to trim off a little bit and then add the contact cement to those um, places to meet. And the popsicle sticks here in rubber band are just to help it stay in shape while it glues together. Sometimes contact cement when you're in a very, um, there's a lot of tension when you're trying to do a circle like this, very tight circles. So that's just making sure it doesn't pull away from itself while it's curing. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. So if you're not familiar with contact cement, um, a mistake that some people make is that they'll go just off the times that the can says. I do not. I wait until it's not tacky at all. If it's still tacky or sticky, then it's not ready. You want it to be when it just first dries. You don't want to wait too long either because then it will be outside its time frame. Um, but yeah, so just kind of watch it. Just touch it every once in a while. If it's not tacky anymore, then it's ready to go. And here I am tracing on two millimeter high density EVA foam my little inner pieces, my inner rectangles that will go between those square dowels on my cuff pieces. And I'm going out two since I have two leg pieces. And at this point I just traced on my design. So this character has these swirly V shapes. There's, I believe, two on each leg. I couldn't see all the way around very well since the character's a panther and how their legs are. But from what I've gathered, I'm pretty sure it's two, so that's what I went with. And then I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to cut out those little V shapes and then I'll dremel them. And we'll do some dremeling around those outside edges too to smooth those up. And to transfer this design exactly to my other piece, I do this like stamping method where I'll take a Sharpie color a little bit, stamp it on, color another section, stamp it on. And then I'll just go over my stamped one side to make it more uh, noticeable so it's easier to go around to cut out. And these are how they look so far. I am cutting at a 45 degree angle roughly. I'm doing it on both sides and I want these edges to almost touch so so I want little baby lines here. Once these are ready to paint, black paint will be going in these little swirly areas. And then you repeat on the other side, the other piece. So here I have the Dremel, I'm just using a finer grit. I believe this is 120 but it might be 100. It. Um, and I'm just going around all these edges to smooth them out, especially since my exacto knife blade was getting dull and I couldn't find my other ones, so it got a little rough in some places. So I'm just smoothing it out with the Dremel. And here I'm just doing a test fit. I don't have any glue on there or anything, I'm just making sure it matches up right. So I'm using stick pins to make sure it's all pushed down right. Because at first it looked like they weren't lining up, but really I just haven't pushed down in there well enough. I'm going to use my Dremel here to smooth out those lines where I cut out the original base shape. 
to make sure it's level and smooth with those square dials I kind of glued on. So I want it to all blend in like a solid piece. And before I glue on that little detail white piece, I'm going to take some quick seal and some water. And as usual, I go a little overboard on the quick seal, but that's fine. Um, just to hide any seams is the point of this stuff. I'm not too worried about the inside seams because that stuff's about to get covered up anyway with the white foam over there. And here I am getting ready to use contact cement and to glue on the uh, little detail pieces to the main piece. It's all going to be one piece after this. This was probably the most simple piece that I made for everything, but those little swirlies always get me. The other armor pieces have some similar details and it's always very time consuming to do that. So I'm very carefully making sure that I'm pushing this all into the right little areas. I'm stretching it a little bit to make sure it all fits across and it's not getting any wavy spots or anything. And then I'm using a Dremel and a sandy block to help smooth out my little seam there. And I'll also use quick seal to um, fill in any gaps and hide seams. I'm also going to put them in the little cutouts I did just to help smooth that out. I don't want the edges to be quite as harsh as I made them. So that blends them in. Here I'm just using water to blend out and smooth out the quick seal. Okay, so kind of a mess over here, but the quick seal is drying. I'll just sand it down just a little bit to smooth it out. Um, but here's one cup. I do need to work on that seam there a little bit. And then my other one over here. So yeah, all that's left is kind of smooth out the quick seal. And then the next steps are plastic dip and painting and sealing. And after I'm done painting and everything, I'll add that Velcro onto the inside here. Um, I have a couple strips of pen inside of each. The This is the like hook side. The loop side I already have attached to my leggings, which was in an earlier video. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm thinking it was part 18, around there. It was labeled leggings. Um, but these will hook onto there, on one side, off the top, and off the bottom, my boot covers have Velcro in them too that will attach to the bottom half, um, on the inside here. So, the next video should be on painting these, if not, then it's going to be the cape, because any things I have left now are painting these guys, making the cape, which will be one video, painting these will be one video, and then I'm going to be making the daggers, which will probably be a couple videos, at least two, if not more. They're there's a lot to them, so I'm not really sure how many there, but we'll figure that out. And the diver's the last parts to do, so we're almost done here. Um, you might have saw I was using this, but it's still contact cement, the same kind I was using before. Um, I can, I was down to the very bottom and it wasn't sealing very well, so it started to get tacky, so I had to throw it away. So since I only need a little bit left, I went ahead and went with this with the brush applicator. Very tiny bottle, but be plenty for what I have left. Especially since my next cosplay I've lined up is going to be pretty much just sewing, so I don't really want to have a can of contact cement laying around. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to let these dry and then sand them down a little bit and blast up them and move on to the painting, which will be in a video too. All the foam I used here is from TNT Cosplay. The black foam is the inner ring is the 6mm foam, the details is the 2mm foam, this white, and then these guys are the square dowels. Um, I'm thinking they're the 12mm, because they're twice as thick there. Which was real convenient, because I didn't have to cut through the strips then, so... Alright, I hope this helps you out with things. If you have any questions, we're going to get things. I'm going to have links for these guys, the foam. Below the quick seal I just got from Walmart or you any hardware store. Um, and Wedwood, I normally get from the hardware store the big can, but I got this from Walmart. They didn't have big cans, so this works out anyway. And I think that's all I used in this video. So if you do have any questions, just ask, and I will see you next time. In the meantime, you can check out my Instagram, which will also be linked below. For the other parts of this series, I have the rest of this costume build. And a playlist on its own, which I'll be linking below as well.